Hey you all, it's your girl, the internet ho, Charlie. For today's video, Mall Cross, we are gonna be reviewing the brand new Vice Cosmetics powder foundation duo that they just released and I am actually very impressed with the shade range I know it's still in the paper bag because literally I just bought it and went home and I just filmed Kakalo ka nga eh, ang dami rin sa inyo nagtag sa akin sa Instagram ang dami sa inyo nagtag sa akin sa Twitter and you're all like, where is John Ray? Where the hell is John Ray in this campaign? We want John Ray and I'm like, um... I don't know. So, nga, I bought mine sa Glorieta. I bought the last two shades because shade Morena was kind of questionable. More of that shade later. And of course, mga girls, in case if you're new to my channel, if you're looking for reviews pang Morena, if you're looking for swatches pang dark lips, if you're looking for makeup tutorials that will work on dark skin, girl, I got you. And also, mga girls, don't forget to comment your request down below. Hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss out any videos. I love the Notip squad. You all are so pinaka mashikep. And also lastly, I'll be linking all my social media links down below and up here. So ayan mga curls, tignan nga natin kung nakakashikep nga ba talaga tong Vice Cosmetics na powder o tignan natin kung nakakaluwag siya ng pores. Ganon, yung silabas niyo mga oils. Ganon. It's also letting you know I have very oily skin so you've come to the right channel because right now my studio is really hot. I think I'm sweating already because the studio is kind of hot. So yeah. <laughs> For this video, I'll be hosting a giveaway so make sure you watch till the end of the video because we know who's been skipping so don't snitch on us anyway smile curls enough chit chattering and let's get started all right manga curls i have the powders here in this paper bag oh the other way around okay hold on all right so we have the receipt i got the receipts. Oh, I missed the lens. Anyways. Alright, so I have the two powders here. I got the shade Flawlessa and I got the shade Sopinai. And then, you know, girls, I was also supposed to get the shade Morena because I was so curious to see what is Morena in terms of like the local brands. I was so curious. What do local brands define Morena? Again, mga curls, I'm here at Vice Cosmetics. And oh my gosh, this is your ano. It's actually Morena, but dito nakasulat Herman Morena. It looks too light though. Look oh. Like, let me show you a swatch mga curls. So again mga curls, it's actually Morena. And haha, <laughs> sis she's beige. Again. Is it just me? But I don't want to sound weird, but that's not Morena. I'm sorry. I was expecting that shade to be like so pinai and then the darker ones will be Morena and then so on so forth. But that shade for me is too light to be considered Morena. We're gonna be looking ashy. If you think you're Morena and you wear that, girl, you're gonna have the cast of shame, okay? And we don't want that here, girl, okay? That's not welcome this 2019, girl. <clears throat> nah. -uh. So I went ahead and bought Soapy Nye and also I bought Flawless. I'm having high hopes. Sana naman gumana to sa skin ko. I am disgusted. Let me see if these have enough coverage to cover my skin and also my hyperpigmentation because this one it does. So let me just swatch the NYX powder here. Like you can even see. Let me just swatch her here. Ah, oh, that's so rich and gorgeous. Hindi siya mukhang gray ashy. But it says here, oil control, buildable, and blurring. It also has SPF 25. This is in the shade Sopinai. I like the undertone of Sopinai, but it's a little bit too light compared to my reference. I don't know if you guys can see it. Then I have here the shade Flawlessa. This is Flawlessa. Yeah, flawless looks a little bit light. But compared to the picture, it's more dark than the picture of the camping. Nila. So let me just swatch them here real quick. So this is so pinay. Powder feels really nice though. Very fine and it's very smooth. It doesn't feel super dry. So this is so pinay. Alam niyo mga curls. I like the undertone of it. It's still not a little bit ashy, but it just has to be a little bit more richer in my opinion. So 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 pinay. Then let me just try Flawlessa. So let me just try Flawlessa here. On its own, it looks a tad bit ashy for a pressed powder on its own. But this could be a very good setting powder. For this review, I want to try one side. On the right side of my face, I want to try putting foundation first, then setting it with powder. And then I want to see the performance of the powder alone on the left side of my face. Tamang tama kasi nagbe breakout ako dito. I want to see if it's able to cover it up without looking ashy. You know what, mga curls? I want to try using Flawlessa on the rest of my face. And then I'll try using... So pinay on the high points of my face on this side. Pero on this side, 
side naman without the foundation, I'll just use Flawlessa all over my face. Let's see if it's gonna cover it up without looking ashy. Alright, so let me just apply the foundation on this side real quick. Alright, so I have my foundation on. Let me just put my concealer. This is the Fenty Beauty. This is in the shade 350. Comment down below. I do think that Vice Cosmetic is taking that Fenty Beauty route, which brands creating other shades. I'm really hoping that Flawlessa will work on its own, even without a base. So let me give this a try. So let me just put this concealer. Like, I swear this concealer, just a little, goes a long way. Like, ugh, it's worth the price tag. Like, two hours of sleep? Never heard of her. Right, so I already have the half of my face. Oh my god, power of makeup all over again. Alright, so let me just try Soap and I on my under eyes because it looks a tad bit lighter compared to Flawless. And then I'll use Flawless on the rest of my face. So let me give this a try. So I'm just using a clean brush. And I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna try to set my under eye. Let me see if it sets nicely. Let me see if it will set nicely and add a little bit of coverage. And I hope it doesn't look ashy. That's what I'm hoping for. Oh. Oh, wow. Mind you, I'm just setting the eye area because I have a dark circle. Eh. And also, I'm just setting the concealer. If, And also, we're going to try the longevity of the powder itself then. Ooh, that set beautifully. Oh, that's nice. That's actually nice. I'm being impressed so far. Hmm. Okay. All right. The rest of my face, I want to try using Flawlessa. Let's give this a try. Let me see if I can set the face. It's a little bit powdery. I mean, duh, it's a powder. Actually, my curls, though, like... When I'm wearing foundation, I think I can use soap and eye on the rest of my face because if Flawlessa looks a bit pink. When I just applied Flawlessa here, it looks kind of splotchy because of the undertone. I might as well just use soap and eye. Parang, yeah, mas bet ko yung soap and eye. The undertone ng soap and eye. Yeah. Soap and eye is much better for setting the face. They mentioned it's like a golden tan. I agree. It's like golden and it has tan. It, it looks very olive and yellow, which is nice. Lolesa, I'll try this as a pressed powder. Tignan natin if solo will work. Let me give this a try. This is the foundation. I already set it with powder and then I have my concealer here. You know what? It looks nice. It looks neat. It looks blurred. Like they mentioned, it's buildable. It doesn't look cakey. My under eyes doesn't look cakey, and it looks very smooth. I'm impressed. Huh. That's impressive. I, I like it so far. You know what? So far, mga curls, I'm liking this already as a setting powder. I love you, mga curls. I hope this works on its own because so far, it's working, huh? This is nice. Like, this matches me perfectly. Shout out to you, Vice Cosmetics. As a setting powder for Morenas and dark foundation, this has my approval. You can go ahead and use Soap and I. Actually, Soap and I is the second darker shade. Let me try the powder on this side on its own. I'm going to try using Flawless. Let me shade is really nice. Depth, it's not even bad though. Notice how it removed the shine here. Like, my forehead is shiny now. Tapos dito hindi na siya shiny. That's, that's actually very impressive. And it doesn't feel super dry. You know what? So far, I'm not hating it. It looks nice. Let me about curls. If I'm gonna be completely honest, I was expecting the powder to not work on its own. But so far, Flawless worked on me. Does it make me look, ano? It doesn't make me look like, alam niyo yung mga hindi, yung parang ano, yung gapata ka lang mag-makeup. Ito nun. What's gapata ka in Tagalog? Basta hula-hula lang mag-makeup. Tapos parang, ang gray na nga na mukha nila. Tapos parang, Para feel na feel nila bagay yung shade. Yung gano. It doesn't give me that vibes. It gives me like, it's still fresh. Looking at the texture of my skin and also my hyperpigmentation here, it's not fully covered but it actually looks decent. It's not like, oh my god, the best. Katula nun sa NYX. Yung NYX talaga, this one can cover everything. Like, it's amazing. On its own. It can cover everything. But this one has like a sheer coverage. But you know what? For days that I just want to look fresh, I don't mind it. You know? As long as it makes my skin look a little bit better than what it is, it's actually not bad. Shade is not that bad. 
right mga girls I don't want to put any eyeshadow I want to leave it just as is like the foundation and the powder para matesting natin both sides so ilabas natin ang pinakamamahal natin Hoshan so the time is oh my god please don't judge me ang dami for sure sa comments I've been receiving a lot of comments mama ho it's ganito oras kasi ang tanga mo <laughs> anyways so this is it's already like 12 12 12 so tignan natin I'll do a couple of check-ins and I'll get back to you mga girls with a couple of check-ins alright alright mga girls so the time is already 6.25 and you know what? No, my face looks very oily but considering it's already almost like 6 hours plus at ngayon lang ako naging ganito ko oily but this is still matte. This one held up really nice. But the real question is, of course, but mga curls, the real tea is, is this gonna touch up really nicely? Let's give it a try. Let me see. Let me try touching this one up. This one is So Pinay. This is the brush that I use. So this is the shade So Pinay. Let me see if this one will look cakey. Oh wow, that instantly removed the shine. I love it. Oh wow, it's nice. Even just using a brush is enough. You don't even need to use the sponge itself because I'm, I personally... Like, comment down below. Ako lang ba? It's either I throw the sponge, just don't use them, you know? <gasps> it's like good as new. And it doesn't look cakey. That's nice. That's so impressive for a drugstore brand. Wow. Um, I'm not sponsored. I wasn't even included in their campaign, but I like it so far. You know what? This could be my drugstore powder. Let me give this one a try. This one's clean. I'm gonna try. This side is flawless. You know what? This one is even still matte. I'm gonna use a brush and let's remove the shine. Let me just put a little bit on my nose because like even yeah, you saw that, right? No wedding's you shine like you saw that right i'm just gonna apply this so as you can see it's so fresh it doesn't look super matte where it's kind of crunchy and cakey it still looks like skin i love it oh my god and i used a brush to set this you know what this will be my final check-in and i'll just wear flawlessa all over my face actually kasi lalabas din ako mamaya maya so yeah i'll wear flawlessa actually on my entire face on its own on my slr and I'll get back to you guys with my thoughts and this giveaway about Vice Cosmetics' new powder. Alright. Alright, mga girls. So, I'm back. And what I have in my face right now, na concealer ako, gamit kong concealer is yung Makeup Revolution C12, just on my under eyes. Tapos sinet ko siya with Soap in eye. And then on the rest of my face, I used Flawlessa. No foundation, just these powders, and just a little bit of concealer on my under eyes because tanggap ko na yung under eyes ko, wala na siya pag-asa. Perpetually puyat siya. Ganun siya. Flawlessa on top of my bare skin looks gorgeous. And then Soap in eye on top of con concealer and foundation looks so beautiful. Look at my under eyes. It's so bright. Seal a big, bright and who? Kim Kardashian, never heard of her. Hello, you know, girls, on the start of this review, I have so many mixed opinions. And I don't want to sound so sponsored, you know what I mean? I don't want to sound so... I don't want to sound like a sales agent, you know what I mean? So I have so many opinions running on my mind as I was going with this review. Because you also have to consider the fact that this is a first impression. So like, I literally just got this and I'm trying it on cam. So usually my opinions is all over the place, unless if I try the whole day. Which brings me to the most important part of this video is my final thoughts. Kung nakakashikip or nakakaluwa, product na to, so here's my final thoughts about the powders it's so affordable for a face product number one why i think you threw much before yung threw much because i normally use that before because they have my shade but now they don't why did i took it off um i think they're more than 500 right like comment down below ano yung price ng like comment down below ano yung price ng true match hindi ko maalala kasi ang tagal na discontinued hi l'oreal bring it back that'd be great this nyx cosmetics this is originally for 700 pesos i only got this for sale kaya naging 300 pesos siya but still 300 is more than 245 for other brands that carries my shade normally the prices are around 600 and above Average for me, for an average consumer who's dark, who loves makeup, who's obsessed with makeup. I have a hard time in using powders. I have a hard time in finding powders because they could be ashy, they could be crusty, or it looks dark in the pan. But when it gets on my face, it looks gray. But this, this is affordable. So if there's one thing that's not good about this, like it's a personal preference. Like if you're the type of person who you want full glam, this is not for you. This is more of like, I want sheer coverage and fresh. Now, Sheer coverage for morena and hyperpigmentation is very tricky. As you can see right now, you can still see a little bit of my hyperpigmentation over here. That's normal because number one, I'm a dude. And number two, 
I'm dark. Pwede nyo naman to remedyohan by putting a little bit concealer under than setting with powder on top. For the purpose of this video, I didn't so I can explain it well. So right now, you can still see a little bit of my hyperpigmentation but what's so impressive about this is though nag-grazing powder on top of the hyperpigmentation, it didn't leave the gray cast. Pansin nyo, Pag naglalagay kayo ng powder, ito okay siya. Pero pagdating dito, or your under eyes, it looks, it has that little gray cast, which is so annoying. But this one, but this one mga curls, looking at up close, it looks so nice. It doesn't look super dry. And it doesn't like sink in on my fine lines and pores. If you're the type of person you're looking for everyday makeup and you're morena and you want just a freshness and you're sick and tired of using Johnson's BB powder because raise your hands if you're morena and that's the only powder you can use. Oh my god, comment down below this emoji because hi, that was me. Mimi Mall Curls, it feels so weird and so good to say. I found my local press powder and Vice Cosmetics, you have no idea how much money you're saving me. Every powder, I'm going to 600 to 700 sometimes even a thousand, but you saved me a lot of money on this. In the future, I hope they make refills na to para for the environment so it doesn't harm the environment. Also make a cheaper price in the refills. That will be amazing. Just a suggestion. You know what, my Chris, which is even shocking to think I can use two shades. You've heard that, right? I can use both of these. Two shades. Two shades on a local brand I can use. Oh my god, I thought my money was wasted kay Soap and I, first of all, but I can use this on top of concealer. Right now, I'm using Soap and I in my under eyes, and it doesn't look ashy. Na, a brand that's dark that finally works. There's other brands out there that made our shade, but the formula is not good. But this, alam niyo mga curls, no wonder it took them two years to create this. If there's also one thing that I want to mention, yung shade na Morena, Mm, I would have to disagree. I think that's much better called. Personally, I would call it the soapy eye shade. Yung Morena Island, parang flawless. Can you just make this Morena more fitting? Yung flawless sa yung Morena. Personally, for me, for me, personally, for me, who's like super dark and Morena, I think flawless is much better called Morena. Actually, I was disappointed. Nga akala ko yun yung shade ko Morena, and I was like, oh. It's light. That's not Marina, in my opinion. To have a local brand that works on my shade is actually... It's mind-blowing. It's so amazing that it is possible. Considering Vice Cosmetics is a juggernaut here in the makeup industry, and they're able to create my shade, actually says a lot. They, like, alam nyo, they placed other makeup brands to shame. I also want to take this opportunity to say this. I'm pretty sure I'm able to reach a lot of people with this video. I just want to put this message out there. Brands. Take note. Kaya nyo naman pala eh. I would say if it's bad, like the other blushes, there are some blushes na that I can't use. There are some lipstick shades I can't use. But the powder is really impressive. Like, this is the type of energy we need in 2019. Like, I want to take this opportunity to reach brands. Like, brands, we're, you know what? It's 2019. We're so done. Like, new lipstick shades, new collection, we're over that. It's a new formula of lipstick. Ugh. Next, thank you, next. Thanks, but no thanks. We've seen a lot of that. We need this. We need this energy. We need more dark shades. If Vice Cosmetics was able to do it in a matter of two years, other brands came in the business way ahead of time. Why can't they not make this? We need this energy, okay? Like, I'm just gonna leave it there. You all cross this powder. I'm looking forward to see this in yung mga hashtag genre made me buy this. Can you just rename Flawlessa into Morena? Because mas fitting. Just saying. Yun lang. <laughs> Yun lang. That's my only opinion. I almost forgot to mention this layers beautifully and for the longevity of the product this actually lasts really long. It's not super long lasting like parang Fenty levels but like within six hours dun pala akong naging oil slick. You touch up the powder on top of the powder already set it doesn't look cakey. It looks so smooth. It, it looks very dreamy and it looks really real. Like it's not cakey na parang sobrang matte na parang nagka-crust, nagbabakbak na yung foundation. Hindi. It looks so fresh. Alright mga curls, so if you reach this part of the video, here is the giveaway mechanics. Since hindi ako nagbili ng ganito kasi syempre naman baka yung manalo mas light pa sa akin, nakakaloka. So I got something that's very universal. Um, I have here the shade title and also I have here the shade... Um, Shala. These are my favorite peachy blushes kay Vice. And also, I got the lipstick um, Zella Vu. This is also one of my favorite lipstick kay Vice. So, the mechanics, mga girls, is very easy. All you gotta do is hit that like button, girl. Subscribe to this channel and share this video. And share this video, mga girls. We gotta get the Morena word out there. Like, the shade Flawlessa and the shade Sopinai has to be out there. This review can help a lot of brown people. If you know in your life that you love, and if you know in your life who's brown, share this video to them. Make them feel that they're welcome in the local makeup community because they actually deserve it. And this is the energy that we deserve this 2019. And of course, Mel Curls, don't forget to hit that bell notification icon. Also, comment down below three reasons why you love Meme Vice. And I want to add one reason there. Thank you, Vice, for 
adding the shade it I'm so happy for the generations who are brown they won't have to go through the things that we've been through for this generation and Vice Cosmetics Vice if you're watching Thank you so much for that. And of course, Smile Curls, I'll be announcing the giveaway winners on my Instagram. So make sure you follow me on my Instagram page. I'll be announcing the winners on my Instagram stories on the said date over here. And of course, Smile Curls, that concludes our review of this Vice Cosmetics Powder Foundation Duo. What do you guys think? Comment down below if you're most likely going to get this. And I hope you guys found this video helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and share this video. And of course, Dave Ashikab, my mother. How's it going? Bye, guys!